Hey, it's Luke John Harrison here. Before we get into this video, make sure, please, that you like, comment, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Make sure the bell notification icon is on. It only takes one second of your day to make mine. Now, let's get into it. Give me a like. Give me a love. Give me a ha ha ha. I want to make people laugh. I want to make people laugh. I want to make people love me and like me. Yeah, see, we tend to do things online to get people to like us because we never want one of these. A dislike. We never want to trigger people, we never want to upset people, we never want to share our true opinions, often for fear of other people's opinions. Now the 10 most dangerous words, you may have heard this before, 10 most dangerous words. What will other people think and what will other people say? So we conform our behavior to be liked and to be loved and to be admired. That's why we filter every fucking photo we put up. That's why we retake photos to find the perfect angle. That's why we make sure that everything online seems perfect before we post it. And a lot of the time we don't show the reality of the mental health struggling, the reality of our energy suffering, the reality of our relationships constantly in bickering and arguing state. The reality of we haven't got our shit together, but we want everybody to look from the outside and perceive that we do. So we will conform and we will put out parts of ourself just to be liked. Let me tell you from somebody that has done this before, it is fucking exhausting. It is exhausting to try and be perfect all the time, to get the perfect filter, the perfect angle, the perfect lens, the perfect story, the perfect picture, the perfect life, and push that out to the world. Hey, guess what? What if it wasn't meant to be perfect? What if it was just meant to be real? What if it was just meant to be real? What if sometimes you were gonna trigger people by your opinion? What if you were sometimes going to trigger people by what you said, the way you dressed, how you wore your hair, the fact that you took a no makeup selfie? <gasps> My God, mostly relevant for the women. However, some of us men don't upload anything unless the picture's fine as well. Hey, we're all guilty. And I totally get it. You don't want to upload an absolutely crappy picture of yourself. However, where does it stop? We're getting apps now that can literally change our body shape. We're getting apps that can literally colour in my fucking blimples on my... Blimples? Pimples on my face. We're getting things which can literally change our skin tone, brighten our teeth, make our eyes bigger and more attractive like an anime fucking character. It's bonkers what we can do online now, but we can share things that are perfection. But yet, when we scroll and we see things that are perceived perfection, when we see other people thinking, oh, they must have it all together. What we see is only what's on the surface. What we see is often only the highlight reel. We have to still remember this, people. Even when you're looking at me, don't think it's all perfect. It's not all perfect. That's why I share a lot of real things. And the minute I'm a bit fucking stuffy after my weekend trip away, my energy's not the greatest. But I still like to perform because I have this ritual, this standard of doing the daily supercharge to try and bring a bit more inspiration. Things aren't always hunky-dory in my head. I sometimes struggle with the mental health side of it. Sometimes have me low days, have me shit times. That's okay, and it's okay for you too. But stop doing everything just to be liked, because eventually it'll become too exhausting. Eventually what you need to start doing is start doing things that make you feel great. And to be fair, trying to put on a front for everything to be perceived perfect doesn't actually make you feel great. It just gives you a little buzz in the moment, a little hit, a little dopamine fix when you get the like or the love or the share. We can all be guilty of this at times. I guess today is just a little reminder to be a little bit more real, be a little bit more vulnerable, be a little bit more okay if your hair's not fucking perfect. Be a little bit more okay if you're not wearing the best clothes. If you don't quite feel the greatest, it's fucking okay, man. It's okay. Just keep going. Stop living life as a complete lie, trying to give out the illusion of perfection. Because it's not meant to be perfect, it's meant to be real. A little bit of real talk today. Hope this helps. Hope this in some way just inspires you a little bit. My energy's low today, I feel bunged up, I'm stuffy, I'm not in the greatest of spirits. 
but I'm producing anyway. It's not perfect, it doesn't need to be. I don't want these videos to be perfect. In fact, I want them to be a little bit raw, a little bit real, a little bit on the spot. As long as they bring some kind of joy and some kind of help to you today, then it's worth doing. Have a great fucking day and go and get it.